in the previous session we had completed with the explanation of chapter number 4 unit is strength now today it's time to solve exercise related to it but before that let us revise what we had understood in our previous session so kids this story is about flock of doves okay group of doves and there was a key of all the doves who guide them. Now all the doves every day flew from place to place in search of food. Now one day what happens? They flew far away. Okay? So as they were flying for a long time, they were flying for And as they were flying for a long time, right, they got tired. Now, that was an oldest dog, okay, who said that we are tired, we cannot fly any further, right? But the king urging them that let us fly a little more, okay, and then we can rest. Now, that was a smallest dog from the flock, okay, group makes up se chota sa dog ka, he picked up his speed, okay, was speed went aage chalak. And what did he saw? He saw that there is a rice scattered under the big banyan tree. Okay? So he was very happy. And all the doves also landed under it and they happily started eating. Right? As they were in search of food. Now, after some time, the smallest dove tried to fly. But he cannot fly, he cannot move his feet because his feet were caught in a hunter's net. And all the doves also trying to fly, but they cannot fly as they were caught in hunter's net. Okay, now they say that we all are trapped in hunter's net. Now what we can do? Okay, now. The doves fluttered their wings many times, right? All the doves move their wings. Fluttered means move their wings ups and downs. Okay? But they cannot come out from the trap. Okay? Now, there is a smallest dove who was very afraid as the hunter was coming to them. Right? And he said that now the hunter will catch us all. But the king had an idea. He said that at the count at the count of three, let us flap our wings together as hard as we can. Okay, so all the doves at the count of three, one, two, three, they flap their wings. Okay, they move their wings together, and within some time, they flew with the net. Okay, so net ke saath hi wo fly karne lagi. Now the hunters was very shocked that how it could be happen, right? And he ran away after them. But the flock of doves flying very high over the hills and villages, right? So wo usko pakad nahi sakta tha, right? And he gave up the chase. Usne now there was a mouse who lived in the jungle and who is the very good friend of the king dog. So all the dogs went to the mouse in the jungle, right? And he called the mouse and the mouse was very happy to see them. And all the dogs asked for the help that free, please, can you help us all to free from the net, right? So, within no time, the mouse nibbled the net and set them free. Now, all the dogs thanked the mouse and they flew happily. Okay, everyone? So, this story teaches us that if we are together, right, then we can uh, face any problem or any situation. No any problem se bahar asakte. Okay everyone, so this was the story. Now it's time to solve exercise. So everyone uh, get ready with your textbook, pencil and eraser. Okay, and you need to keep your CW book with you. So everyone, open page number 35, question number A1, mark true for letter T or false for letter F. 
दिख रहा है तो हमने दर्दी ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट वन नंबर फोर द बिगेस्ट डॉग कूडेंट मूव हिज फीट द बिगेस्ट डॉग कूडेंट मूव हिज फीट इज दिस स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट नो व्हाई बिकॉज फर्स्ट द स्मॉलेस्ट डॉग ट्राई टू मूव देयर फीट राइट एंड ही कुड नॉट Animals 
things includes people and animals. All nouns which are living things are either the male that is he or female that is she. Okay, so we can say that gender means all nouns which are living things can either be male or female. Okay, so gender can be classified into two categories that is male and female. Now, let us see some examples. So gender can be classified into two categories that is male and Female. Okay? Now let's see examples. Boy. Boy is a male gender and girl is a female gender. Okay? Man is a male gender and woman is a female gender.
I had already given you vocabulary words, missing letters and jumbled letters of chapter number 4, right? That you had already copied in your notes, right? Now, today we are going to continue with the notes, okay? After missing letters, jumbled letters, you need to give heading opposite words, okay? So, here there are 5 opposite words are given. More opposite less, glad opposite unhappy, ahead opposite behind, over opposite under, old opposite young. Now, after that, you have to write question answer. Okay, so give heading answer these questions. Okay, and write down properly as I have written first letter, you need to write in capital. Now, give number one. What were the doves searching for? Doves kya search kar rahe thi? The answer is they were searching for food. Okay, you need to begin your answer with the capital letter and ends with the full stop. Now, number two. Who picked up the speed and flew ahead? Who picked up the speed? The smallest dove, right? So, our answer with the capital letter, the smallest dove picked up the speed and flew ahead. And full stop. Now, question number three. What happened when the doves flapped their wings together? Okay, Jab, when doves Flapped their wings together. Exact they flapped their wings. Okay. At that time, what happened? The answer is the net begin to rise. So, with the capital letter, write down the net begin to rise when the doves flapped their wings together. And full stop. Now, question number four. Where was the rise? Scattered. Rice kaha par fele huye the? Scattered means fail na. Right? So, the answer is the rice scattered under the big banyan tree. And full stop. And with this, we had also learned about the gender. Right? So, there are some examples given in this. Okay? So, give heading gender. Masculine and feminine gender. 
Okay, now make a two part. Okay, in first part write down heading masculine and second part that is feminine. Okay, father, mother, brother, sister, poet, poetess, god, goddess, prince, princess, sir, madam. Okay, now with this I had also given the gender of animal, right? So, here you need to make three parts. First of all, name of the animal and then its masculine gender and feminine gender. First is dog. Masculine gender of dog is dog and feminine gender of dog is bitch. Cow. Masculine gender of cow is bull and feminine gender of cow is cow itself. Sheep. Masculine gender of sheep is ram, R-A-M, ram and feminine gender of sheep is U, E-W-E. Number four, deer. Masculine gender of deer is stag and feminine gender of deer is hind. Horse. Masculine gender of horse is colt and feminine gender of horse is filly. Duck. Masculine gender of duck is track and feminine gender of duck is duck itself. Hen. Masculine gender of hen is rooster and feminine gender of hen is hen. Tiger. Masculine gender of tiger is tiger itself and feminine gender of tiger is tigress. Okay, so... This you need to copy in your PW book, okay, with neat and clean handwriting. And see that there is no spelling errors. Okay, kids? So, kids, I hope you all have completed textual exercise and given notes that I have given you, okay? If not, then complete it within two days, okay, everyone? Along with this video lecture, you will get the worksheet. In this worksheet, I am going to give you all these notes, okay? And textual exercise that you need to copy from the worksheet, okay? And see that, complete your CW book with good handwriting. See that there is no spelling errors, okay? And write properly in Okay, everyone.